Hi there everyone, it's Carissa at Small and Scrappy with a process video for pear tree cut files. In this layout I've used the cobweb background and cobweb border cut files from the November 2022 release for Halloween layout of course. Um, and I'm starting with the cut files still on the mat and I'm just removing one that I've cut alongside them to save a bit of um, cardstock. So little sneak peek there of the sushi cut file which will be coming to a layout near you soon. So I'm starting by um, spraying the cobwebs all over in black Heidi Swap colour shine. Um, it's a little bit sticky as I've not used um, the actual spray of the bottle for a long time. I tend to do more splatters than spraying with my um, ink sprays. Um, but yeah, just spraying roughly all over, leaving a few patches of white because I want the uh, cobwebs to have a bit of a distressed look. And here they are dry and peeled off the mat, all weeded and everything. Um, so what I'm just showing you here, um, because apparently I forgot to record this section, is that I've also added some white Heidi Swap colour shine splatters um, and I've also sprayed the cobwebs um, again while they were still on the mat with hairspray. This is a tip I picked up in secondary school art and it's the idea is to get the colour to fix a bit better if you've got a smudgy medium um, which my overly saturated Heidi Shine did turn out to be. Um, it did still come off on my fingers because I was playing with the cobwebs while they were wet um, but it's a tip that's worth trying if you've got any mediums you want to fix like that. So I'm moving on now to the assembling of the layout and I've got these two selfies I took on Halloween um, of me in my skeleton onesie. Um, Halloween was a Monday this year um, but I work from home so I wore my costume to work including our um, weekly team meeting and it went down quite well so I had to get a couple of selfies. Um, and I've just got my iPad in the corner there with an alternative photo that I was debating using still um, so I sort of put that there while I decided if I wanted to go out and um, print it again. I don't in the end, um, I think the two I've got work fine. Um, so yeah I'm just flicking through all my Halloween stash most of which is from Crepe Paper's Hey Pumpkin collection that came out a couple of years ago and was re-released a second year. Um, so I've still got a few scraps of that, especially the die cuts. Um, I do really like it, um, but I didn't buy loads and I've not um, stocked up on Halloween papers since, um, just because we don't really do a lot for Halloween usually. Um, uh, we don't have kids yet, we don't tend to do any trick-or-treating or, or um, sort of massive costume parties, although we did have a onesie party at a friend's house um, last Halloween, which is um, hence why I have the skeleton onesie. Um, I love Halloween um, and I'm hoping we will start doing more for it in future, but um, uh, for now, these are the only photos I really got this year. Um, doesn't help that it was on a Monday, of course. Um, it's always more fun to have a party on the weekend, but... Um, yeah, anyway, I'm just uh, playing around with the bits and pieces. Um, so I'm starting off with the cobweb border as the sort of grounding for my photos and other elements. And I'm not certain at this point that I want to... Uh, use this one in that way and I do end up changing it um, which you'll see later on. Um, this is why I printed, um, printed cut to both files because I wasn't sure. Um, I sort of had a, an idea of how I wanted the layout to look but not which cut file would work best for that look and in the end I end up using um, both of them or at least part so you will see that as we go on. Um, and at the moment I'm just making a complete hash of trying to cut this, trim down this tag to the right size and shape. Um, so eventually I do just make it a, a small paper layer rather than a full tag. You'll see I've also started to bring out some of my 
pear tree pieces. Um, they are also from the November release um, of um, the Halloween collection, I suppose. Um, so I've got that big um, acrylic 31 there, which is going to stay as my title and stays pretty much in the same spot. Um, I've also got the um, ghost confetti to the right there. Those ghosts are so cute and they're um, they are featured in a few cut files as well, so have a little look for that if you like your friendly ghosts. <laughs> um, uh, I've got the witch's hat off to the left there, which I don't use on this particular layout, but they're super cute, so I'm, I'm sure I will find something for them in future. I do have a photo in mind, actually, but it may be a while before I get around to it. Um, and right now I'm just choosing um, some paper scraps to back my photos. Uh, like I say, I've only really got scraps of this collection left and um, so yeah, I'm just trying to find a piece that I don't mind um, losing the other side of, if that makes sense. So I am going through and trying out the die cuts as well, um, but in the end I think I back both photos on that starry paper that I've got there. So I think I'm going to fast forward through the video and put some music on while I finish assembling the layout um, and I will speak to you guys in a bit.
So here we are with the finished layout and you'll see I, um, as I said, I ended up splitting the cobweb background across the two sides of the layout and I've added a little bit of the border at the bottom there as well just to extend out that um, cobweb uh, area. Um, I've also used a few more pear tree pieces, the pumpkins and the Fright Night set which I didn't mention earlier so I will link all the bits and pieces um, below. Thanks for watching guys, do check out the November release from Pear Tree and I will see you next time. Bye!